Hello, this is Kaki Lee and welcome to the Abundant Goddess Show, where I'll be sharing daily bite-sized pearls of wisdom I've picked up along my life journey that has allowed me to embrace and unleash my inner abundant goddess. And that's exactly what I want for you, to embrace and unleash your inner abundant goddess. I love talking about anything and everything to do with life, but I especially love talking about money, mindset and energy, which is the main focus here. If you like what you hear, make sure you subscribe to my show so you don't miss out on your daily dose of wisdom for myself. And also follow me and let me know what you think on Facebook and Instagram at Abundance with Kaki Lee. Now let's get into it. Happy Mother's Day and welcome to the Abundant Goddess Show and day 18 of my 40 Days to 40 series, where I share 40 things I've learned in my life so far over 40 days. Today's pearl of wisdom is parent your own way. As a mother of two young girls, I've experienced people giving me unwanted advice on parenting. However, I may have done that myself. So no judgment at all, because I think as parents, we just want to help other parents get by. But sometimes the advice is not the advice we want or what we need. Whenever I do give advice, I do I only give advice when I get asked. And whenever I may have done it um, without someone asking, then I always follow up with, but do it your own way and whatever feels good for you. This is just what I did. Because everyone's circumstances are different. How you entertain your kids is different if you're a stay-at-home parent versus if you're a career parent. You do you. You do the best you can with what you know and the resources available to you. You might be the parent who likes to make all your food homemade, organic. Or you might be the parent that just feeds their kids chicken nuggets for dinner. Who cares? And no one has the right to tell you what to do or not do. For me, if your child is alive, fed, healthy and loved, that is the most important. I want to tell you a funny story because I remember getting on my high horse before I was a parent because you're the best parent before you actually become a parent. And I remember my brother told me that he was co-sleeping with my nephew. And I remember going to my brother, getting on my high horse and going, oh my gosh, do you know how dangerous co-sleeping is? And, you know, I spoke to the nurses at the children's hospital that I worked at and, you know, they say it's a no-no, blah, 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 blah. Well, (laughs) Let me tell you, I had to eat my own words because when my first daughter came, the only way that I could get any freaking sleep was to co-sleep with her. I apologized to my brother profusely. He forgave me, but he does, you know, remind me now and again. And now I love co-sleeping. When my second came, I co-sleep from day one. Well, not day one, day one at home, not at the hospital because, you know, the nurses wouldn't allow that. (laughs) Um, And I love co-sleeping and I have no problems co-sleeping. My friends all think I'm crazy because they all do the sleep training and their kids actually sleep through the night and all that kind of stuff. But for me, it's just whatever works and it works nicely for me, my husband, used to work away so with my eldest I didn't want to leave her at the back of the house in her own room when he was away I felt more safe having her in my room in my bed and also it's so nice to cuddle them and they smell so nice and they're so warm and they're so cuddly it makes me feel really happy when I co-sleep so I love it and my second she's actually refusing to get out of my bed and she's only two but um the same, you know, when I sleep and then, you know, I turn and she's there, and it's like, oh, give me a cuddle. And I just love it because I know my kids are not going to want to sleep with me forever. There will be a time where they think that I'm not cool anymore and they don't want to have anything to do with me when they become teenagers. Not looking forward to that. 
Mm, well, you know, a bit scared more <laughs> because I hear so many things from different people. And you know, whilst my kids still think I'm cool and they still want to hang around mummy, I don't mind, you know, co-sleeping with them and hanging out with them and not doing as much as what I want fully or immersing myself into work as much because I want to spend time with them. Right now, my time, my success is being able to craft that lifestyle to spend time with them. Yes, whilst working my business, but I know that I could do so much more. But it's okay. You parent your own way. It doesn't fucking matter. No judgment, just different styles. Remember, like I said, if your child is alive, fed, healthy, loved, then no one can tell you what to do. So remember to parent your own way. Don't let anyone pressure you into doing anything any other way because you know your children best. And that's the end of the show and day 18 of my 40 Days to 40 series. Please share this episode with anyone that needs a reminder to parent their own way. If you like what you heard, make sure you subscribe to my show and remember to follow me over at Facebook and Instagram at Abundance with Kaki Lee. There's fun things happening there leading up to my 40th birthday on May 30th. The details of the first giveaway is there. And the second giveaway is coming up in a few days. Very exciting. And lastly, if you're interested in working with me or learning from me, send me a DM on Facebook or Instagram or email me at hello at kakili.com. <laughs>